new music. We love new music on this channel. Um, I, I get introduced to new music all the time on this channel and I absolutely love it because I don't know what's out there and I feel like um, the secular music world industry only like sticks to certain stuff and it gets boring after a while. I want to hear new people and I like hearing new people. And so I got a suggestion, a recommendation, a request for, and we're going to attempt this name. Don't come after me if I pronounce it wrong because I'm terrible at pronouncing names, but we're going to try today. Okay. Ina Worldson. I don't know if that's right, but if it's not, just, you know, tell me how I should pronounce it in the comments and leave it at that because I have never seen that kind of a name before and I don't know how to pronounce it. it it's, sorry, I try. Uh, she is singing St. Peter. This one intrigued me because we're talking about St. Peter, the rock on which the church was built uh, and so I don't know if this is a Christian song or if this is a secular song or or what kind of song this is I don't know who this artist is um, I only have what was requested to me and um, if I remember correctly she is another talent from Norway like um, Aurora and Angelina Jordan and I I think that Norway has a lot of talent and we need to see them more here stateside because I don't hear of them and I think we should. So that being said, if you guys like the content, I'll look uh, and you want to show Ina some ways to, you know, some sh love and support and you want to help her grow her channel, I'll link ways for you to do that below and for myself as well if you so choose to do so. But let's go ahead and get started. a little Saint Peter in a hospital bed burning up with a cloth to his head he is ridden by fever and I can't even tell whether the demons have won and his mother is there with his brother to her back Praying as hard as she can to a god in a land that I think he forgot In the middle of hell Where a death by mosquito Is this every day is my coffee or your cigarette So not exactly what I was expecting uh, I'm not sure that I was expecting anything, to be honest with you, because like I said, I don't know if this is a Christian song or a secular song, but it is an interesting song. I'll put it that way. Uh, it sounds very folky, which I, I tend to find there is a lot of folkiness that comes from Norway, and she sounds beautiful when she sings it. And I know we had um, a, 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 another group and their name is escaping me right now. That also has a very folky sound and they're also from Norway. Um, I'll look it up when the song's over. But it was it's like every time I hear someone coming from Norway, I'm always like surprised at the lyrics, at how deep the lyrics will go. And I feel like this song is no different, no different. Um, I forgot to mention in the beginning, because this is new music, I'm recording it without filters right now, guys, but if something happens and it gets blocked, I will add the filters and reload it to YouTube, but if you, I will then load the unedited um, uh, recording to Patreon, and you can join me on Patreon and see the unedited version there. You don't have to, but it's there if you wanted to. Um, all right, let's, 
let's continue here because the, the song is like very interesting we're talking about saint peter being in a hospital bed in the middle of hell and that's a are we talking about a different saint peter because i only know of the one so it, it's a it's interesting to hear that kind of a lyric it's a very like these lyrics are from from the people out in Norway, man. They they are very deep and in into some fashion. So let's keep going. Are your cigarette? And she says, God bless me. She says, God bless me. And I shake my head. Cause I can't see God. interesting um a very different take about you know god and and talking about you know save me and start singing amen and I, I almost feel like this is a what if scenario versus what is and or what i think is anyway let me put it that way and it's interesting to hear because, you know, I don't know if she wrote the song or if the song was written for her to sing, but whoever wrote the song, I wonder what was going through their mind when they wrote it. Because it's, it's an interesting song for sure. Like we're talking about God, but we're, I feel like we're explaining something away. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not getting a grasp in the entirety of what the song is supposed to mean. But it's like she's singing beautifully. For sure. She's singing beautifully. And it's very folky the way that she's singing. And I like her voice a lot. Um, and I think she's beautiful. Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think she's very pretty. She has the, the dark eyebrows and the um, just like very soft features about her. with each other on a hospital bed begging for death to go home and she says Burning 
Part of me wants to think like this is a song about maybe the family looking at the person who is sick and the person has more faith than the people around her. I, I, I'm I, not sure I understand the entirety of the song or what I would was supposed to understand. I, I feel like there's a very deep meaning in this song. So um, if anybody wants to explain it to me, by all means. Um, I, I, I When I hear her saying that this girl is in the hospital bed and her family is sitting around here and she's crying to God to, to bless me and they're saying, I don't see God anywhere in this room. I, I feel like there's a tug and pull happening there, you know? But overall, like, I think she's a great singer. I think she's beautiful. I think she has a very unique sound. I would be very interested to hear more from her. Um, but that is going to do it for this one. So if you like the content, you know what to do. And in the meantime, I hope you live your life fabulously. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.